welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your Monday, and if you're watching this on a different day than Monday, then I hope you're enjoying whatever day that happens to be. Um, in my last few cash envelope videos, I have had quite a few people ask me about how I use Capital One 360 for my cash envelopes or how I incorporate that into them. Um, and I've gone into a little bit of detail in those videos, but I wanted to go into a more detailed video about it um, because I learned quite a few things from when I started doing using Capital One 360 to what I do now, and it's really working well for me um, for how I'm using it now. So I just wanted to get on here and share you guys what I have share with you guys what I have learned um, so that it might be helpful to you um, if you guys plan to or already using Capital One 360. So, um, I wanted to first start by going over my planner here. So, what I do every Friday is I make out a list that has all of my bills that I transferred to Capital One 360, which are all of these, and then I also make out a, um, a list that has my expenses and my sinking funds, so these two get pulled out in uh, cash for my cash envelopes. So I'm focusing on these ones. Now with uh, Capital One 360, I have one checking account and four savings account all through Capital One 360. And I'll tell you the reason why I have that checking account um, in just a little bit later in the video. But so what I do is I total up my bills, I figure out how much I am pulling out for each single bill um, for all of this, for this section, and for this section. And then what I do is I add up the totals through each section and that is the amount that I am going to transfer to my Capital One 360 checking account. Um, so I get paid every Friday and my paycheck is direct deposited into my main checking account which just belongs um, at a bank that I bank with here locally to where I live. So my check is direct deposited into that account and then after I figure out the total that needs to go to 360, um, I transfer that from that main checking account over to my Capital One 360 checking account. I, told, I just transfer all of it over there. The reason that I do that first, rather than just transferring it right into the savings accounts, is when you're transferring from an external account to a Capital One 360 savings account, the money is taken out of your checking account in like, it's, it's about a day, um, one business day, but they put a hold on it and it does not get deposited into your savings account for four to five business days. So I found that it was really hard if I got paid on Friday and I had a bill that was due maybe two or even three days after that, um, I wasn't having that money in there to pay that because it was basically being held. So say for instance, um, this is a good example. So um, as you can see here, I just got paid on December 7th and I had a bill due on the 10th, which would have only been one business day after that um, December 7th payday. So when I was usually using it to transfer directly into Capital One Savings account, um, it was taking four to five business days. Well, I needed to pay it here and the money was not available for me. It had already been taken out of my checking account, but it was not available for me in the savings account. So I called Capital One to try to figure out a solution to the problem and they said that they recommended that I open a Capital One checking account um, first. So I did that and the reason is is because external transfers from an external account to a Capital One checking account only takes one to two business days. And then once the money hits that checking account, 
you can transfer it to any of your savings accounts within 360 and it's an automatic immediate transfer. So I just kind of wanted to break it down for you guys how I do that here. And I'm a very visual person, so I thought drawing it out, drawing a little web diagram, um, might help you guys as it helps me. So, like I said, on payday, my check is direct deposited into my main checking account, which is not a Capital One 360 account. So we'll just put direct deposit. external account. So my paycheck goes into this account. And then once I figured out all my bills and I figure out how much money I need to take from this account and put to and transfer over to my Capital One 360 account, I take that money and I transfer it to my Capital One checking account. I transfer the entire amount to that checking account. And then once the money has hit this checking account, which like I said, it's one to two business days. So going from here to here is one to two business days. I then transfer the money to my various savings account. Now, like I said, I have four. You can have up to 25 savings accounts though in within Capital One. So, and it's completely free. So what I do is I have One for my credit card type uh, bills. So I transfer whatever needs to go to credit cards. I transfer from checking to that account. Then I have another savings account that is for, I call it loans. Um, just because that makes sense to me. I transfer it to my third savings account, which is anything related to my car, which is basically my car payment and my car insurance. And then my last savings account is my account for actual savings. And I don't have a sixth color, so we're just going to use green again. So this is what I do. So again, going from my external account to my Capital One checking account is one to two business days. And once it hits here, I can disperse it to however many savings accounts I want, however much amount I want, and it's an instant transfer. So all four of these just instantly go to those um, accounts and they're available the second you hit the transfer button. So that is how I have been doing my um, using Capital One with my cash envelopes. It's just so much easier to not have to pull all the cash out for all of these different accounts. I shouldn't say all of those, but all of these accounts so it's easier if I'm just able to transfer it to an account where they're automatically withdrawn. So with this, 
This is my credit card savings account. So this one here gets all of these. And then when it's this specific um, bill's due date, my, I know my money is already in that savings account and it will automatically come out of that savings account. Then next, I get the total of this one. And this amount goes from my 360 checking to my loans 360. And then same with this one, I add up my car and then that total will go from my 360 checking to my car. And then whatever I do for savings will go to savings. Um, so it's just an easier way for me to do it and then I pull the rest of my expenses and my sinking funds out in cash. That way I essentially only have um, seven cash envelopes right now rather than all of these plus these two. So um, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know um, and I would be more than happy to help you. Like I said, it took me a while to figure out a solution of how I could use Capital One 360 as I think it's an extremely useful tool and it's free, like I said, and you can have up to 25 different savings accounts, but just getting across the hurdle of not being able to have that money for four to five business days when you transfer it right to the savings account, um, it just made it extremely unflattering for me. Um, but I still wanted to take advantage of it, so I'm glad that I called and was able to find the solution of doing the checking account. That way you could transfer it to there. It's one to two business days and then instantly disperse it out to your savings accounts from there. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you're new, please um, let me know down below and also feel free to subscribe and then hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a new video for me. Um, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!